Hey guys, so I am moving and I thought it would be really fun for us to take a look at some of the random music related things that I have. So this isn't necessarily stuff that I particularly need, but some of it has sentimental value, some of it is just in case, and I've managed to fit everything into one suitcase. So obviously my sheet music and stuff does not fit into this suitcase. I have two full filing boxes of just sheet music and method books and stuff like that. And I have two more filing boxes full of music textbooks. So if you guys want me to make a video about that stuff sometime in the future, maybe after my furniture comes, let me know in the comments below. When you are watching this video on Saturday morning, I will be actively moving my furniture into this room. Let's begin. First off, I have my other fluter scooter bag. This one is the patent leather black one. I made a review about this. I don't really have the heart to give this one away just yet. I am using the tan colored one, Ugh, it's this one. So I like this one. This one came out after I ordered this one. I waited like a good, I don't know, three years before I ordered this one finally. I felt like waiting that long justified the cost. Personally, I like this one more. I just like the brown color more and the wider strap. It's easier to carry around than these straps, these ones I find dig into my shoulder. The other thing is it is patent leather and so it does make me look richer than I really am. Sometimes depending on the venue that I'm going to, I'm not always comfortable bringing a patent leather bag with me, but it is really nice for going to a special occasion that you are playing for. So I'm still keeping it. This is a random case cover that I have just in case. It's just a you know, your typical zip up case with the kind of like furry lining to it. I have my Dijal 200, I believe this is. This is the beginner model. I didn't actually officially say so. I mentioned it in one of my live streams. When I made that first video with the Flute Center of New York, the owner, Phil Unger, actually sent my video to Dijal himself. I didn't know that they were gonna do that. I didn't think, that DJ would even bother to watch my video, but he did and he loved it. So he actually offered to give me the model that I reviewed for free. He actually just gifted it to me. So I am eternally thankful. Oh, but I just, I have no words. This is the flute that I will bring with me to travel if I still need to practice and I don't need to bring my really expensive professional model flutes. This one plays really beautifully. I think it works with me really well. Thank you, Dijon. I have, again, random piccolo case. So you're probably wondering why I have these. It's because when I put my flute and my piccolo in my fluter scooter bag, I'll just open it up for you guys to see. I'm just really putting in the inner case. I'm not putting it in with the outer cover. But sometimes I want to bring my flute and piccolo separately, so, I put them back in these cases. As you can tell, when you become a musician, you end up saving a lot of this stuff just in case, because sometimes you do need it, but it just takes up space in terms of storing it. So I'm still proud that I managed to put it all into one suitcase. Next, I have my Mateki silver flute. So I have shown this a couple of times in my videos. Beautiful Japanese flute. When I went back to play around with this after I got my other professional model flute, I realized that I think the head joint doesn't really work with me. I have considered getting another silver head joint to go with this. I don't have the money for it right now, but it is kind of on my list of things to get in the future, someday. I don't know when though. Now I have my Jupiter student model flute. This is the one that I won at a raffle draw at one of the winter formals when I was going to the University of British Columbia, their school of music. There it is, just your very typical student model flute. I think the exact model number is 507S. It might be an older discontinued model by now. It's been quite a number of years since I've had it and it's proven to be really useful. I use this flute to make the I teach mom how to play the flute videos and I think I have lent this to a student before. I actually have had students come to flute lessons who have forgotten to bring their flute with them. Yeah, this has proven very, very helpful for that. 
currently it's not very helpful because all of my students are on FaceTime and Skype. By the way, if you want to apply to be one of my students, I always have linked in the bottom bar below a link to my online lessons page. So you can go apply there if you want to study with me. And now I have my original Brannon cover. The zipper is broken here. Oh, and you can see that this thingamabob is actually only on one of the sides, one of the sides of the zipper. It's very much broken, but I, I don't know, I guess it's just sentimental value. This is the original case that came with my Brandon flute and I don't really want to give it away. I don't want to throw it away. I guess I had lofty dreams of fixing the zipper, but that obviously has not happened yet. So I have this random Hello Kitty pouch. What's in here? Oh, it's my Metro Tuners manual, which I never checked. I have my original Yamaha student model flute. This is the first flute I ever started on. There we go. Isn't she a beauty? We labeled it with my name in masking tape and we put a travel clef sticker on it because that's what you do when you're a kid. And I have not taken them off because I still think they're pretty. Ah, we have a not very well taken care of brass fife pitched in B flat. I got this when I was on a trip with my school in eighth grade to the East Coast. It was an American history trip. So we hit up all the historical cities and towns, you know, the whole like original 13 colonies and stuff like that. So I saw this in one of the stores and I could not resist it. It cost me $23.95. I bought this with the money that my parents gave for me for that trip. I remember it feeling very expensive, but I knew that I couldn't pass it up. So I still have it. I could try playing it a little bit. It's very terribly out of tune. too bad it still plays well so I need to swab that out later I'm gonna put that off to the side I have a random flute center of New York polishing cloth I have a pink recorder let's see what I can play on this guy I don't actually really know the fingerings to this I think I've had this since I was a kid. I have not been able to let this one go. <laughs> All right, I have random light bulbs from my old lighting. These were the lamps from Lowe's. So I've got a bunch of those in here. Got a random swab, silk swab, which I found out are not that expensive anymore. I think it was just that one store that I grew up going to selling it at totally overpriced. Price. This is actually only half of a bigger silk swab. I think I use this as my substitute piccolo one. I have my dad's baton. This is the one that I used in my how to follow bad conductors video. This was when I realized that it was in my stash of music stuff. I actually had to tell my dad that I had it with my stuff. He didn't even know where it went. I don't know how it ended up in my stash, but you know, I, I have it now. Another Flute Center of New York polishing cloth, more light bulbs. I have cigarette paper. I'm not so sure how useful this wet proof one is because when you are a woodwind player, and you are buying cigarette paper for your instrument to blot the pads because the pads can soak up a lot of condensation. I don't think I should use wet proof cigarette paper to try and blot water from my pads. I probably should actually throw this one away. This one is the free burning one. I have no idea what that means because I don't actually smoke. I have random USB cord. Don't know why I have that in there. These are the two lamps from Lowe's. 
oh, they do collapse down, which is really nice. I'm holding on to them just in case I want to bring some cheap lighting around with me. Some lighting is better than no lighting. My new set of lights are still downstairs. They are way too big to put in my room right now, simply because I don't have the storage space for it yet. I have a random extension cord, more silk swabs. This is the other half of that green silk swab that I showed you. Is this the one that ripped? Yes, this is the one that ripped. Like, look at that giant rip. This was because of my first fluter scooter bag. I have a random wooden cleaning rod. I think this is the one that came with my Mateki flute, but it is labeled TJ James, which I think is Trevor James. I did buy my Mateki flute second hand, so maybe that cleaning rod was lost. The store probably just put this one in. We're getting to the end here. I have my Metro Tuner. This is the Metro Tuner that I talk about in my vibrato video where I asked the receptionist where their Metro Tuners was and then she proceeded to ask me what instrument I played. I said the flute and then she said, flutes don't need tuners. This is the one. More cigarette paper. This goes with your tuner. So you can actually stick this in with your tuner. Where? Where, 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 okay. You can stick this in with your tuner and then you take this clip and you can clip it onto your flute so that you can tune even while it's super loud around you. So this is very useful for when you are in orchestra or wind ensemble and you need to tune yourself while everyone is warming up around you. I have a random dime. This is a Canadian dime. What the heck? Okay. And then here is the shoulder strap that goes with my black fluter scooter bag. More light bulbs. What the heck? I have two Metro tuners. I'm pretty sure that this was the one that I got from that receptionist. Wow, why do I have two? And this is my old tuner. I don't actually use this anymore because it's easier just to bring your phone around. Yeah. I remember when it used to be almost like kind of taboo to use the app on your phone because people didn't really trust music apps you know, on your phone yet. When I was in school, everyone was using this. This is the Korg Chromatic Tuner CA30. I think you can still get the same exact one now, or at least a better model of this one. Korg is known to be a really good brand when it comes to tuners. Now that I think of it, I think I know why I got this one. This one is a Korg Metro Tuner, whereas this one is a different brand, WMT555C. I don't know what brand that is. Last few things. I have my other Hercules stand. The one that I have in my fluter scooter bag is the three pronged one where you can put three instruments on it. So I have the piccolo peg, I have the telescoping flute peg, and then I have a normal flute peg. I have yet another Hercules flute peg that came with the set. And here is a single stand that goes with it. Just like that. This is actually an older model. They actually came out with a better one that will make the legs clip into place. As you can see, there are no clips here. The newer ones these days have clips. They're much better. I love it because they're really heavy. And I also have here my first flute stand. It's not actually very good, but I am holding on to it simply for sentimental value. This is it. There's literally only stuff that stops it from rotating more. There's no friction whatsoever for these legs to actually stay in place. So it's just a very simple metal base and kind of the same idea. This is just your typical flute pack. Look how old that is. It has the longest screw in the world. It takes forever to screw this in. It's not even worth doing it for you guys. But basically, that is it. I used it for a long time. The other thing that I don't like about this is that the legs are so darn long. Look how ridiculously long that is. It was really quite awful to bring this around with me, but at that time, we didn't know about the Hercules flute stands. This masking tape thing used to say my name, but I think I rubbed it off now. That's how much I used it. We have gone through my entire suitcase of music gadgets. <sighs> I moved all this stuff with me. If you guys have a similar stash of music gadgets in your room, let us know in the comments below what you find. Let's see how many of you guys actually have the same stuff. I think that'd be really cool to see. Anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and hit subscribe for new videos every Saturday. My last video is over there. And if you want to catch me during the week, my social media networks are down there. But otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Bye. Right now I'm filming against the blank wall. So really all you guys are seeing is my filing cabinet and my printer, but really this room just has boxes and my computer and a mattress 
that it's not even worthy to be really called a mattress. It's actually two of those foam pads that you can get at Ikea stacked on top of each other. 